Bonjour à tous, welcome back to I Love French for the French Grammar series, Grammar on the Couch. In this video, I'll be exploring how to use the imperfect tense in French, l'imparfait, and showing you as well how this differs from the perfect tense, le passé composé in French. So let's get to it. Allez, c'est parti! explain an action that was done in the past. Stop. Just ask yourself these two simple questions. The first one is, is the action completed in the past? You can either answer that yes or no. If the answer is yes, it's going to be the passé composé, the perfect tense in French. The second question to ask yourself is, does it actually matter that what I'm telling you about has a starting or an ending time, or are they kind of blurred? If the answer is yes, they've got a definite starting and ending time, and I want you to understand that, then once again, I'll use the passé composé, the perfect tense in French. Now this might be a bit strange, but if you just got those two simple questions to use as tests as to whether you use the passé composé, if not, then the only other option is to use the imparfait, the imperfect tense in French. And we're going to look at them a little bit closer now. Okay, as an example, let's look at a passé composé completed action first. Ce matin, j'ai acheté un croissant. In that example, the action is completed in the past. I bought the croissant. That's the focus. So, what exactly is an incomplete action then? Well, the idea is that the starting time or the ending time of this action isn't actually what we're wanting to focus on. So let's now have a look at an example in the same context, but using the imperfect tense, the imparfait. Ce matin pendant que j'achetais un croissant. This morning, while I, while I was buying a croissant, something happened. So the idea of buying the croissant is just now background information. Okay, describing background information is our first scenario. And this happens in a really common place in language, and that's usually describing the weather. Especially if you're from Melbourne in Australia, where you're constantly talking about the weather, Flicking between four seasons in one day, going between rainy to cold to warm to sunny, you're going to be using this a lot. So now let's look at the imperfect tense with weather. Il faisait beau, il pleuvait, il y avait du soleil. It was a nice day, it rained, it was sunny. So we can use the weather especially as a good example for how we're giving background information using the imperfect tense in French. Okay, we can actually do something really cool to demonstrate how to play off against the passé composé, the perfect tense in French here. So with the weather, for example, if we know the exact time or we want to emphasize when the weather changed precisely, give a precise and a precise time of when something actually occurred in the past. This is when we can use the passé composé versus the imparfait. So this happens a lot to me in Melbourne. I'll be out on my bike, just casually going, isn't the sun beautiful? Kind of feeling really warm. And then all of a sudden, the rain is going to fall on me on my bike. So let's have a look at that example. Je faisais du vélo, puis tout à coup, il a commencé à pleuvoir. Il a plu. I was riding my bike in perfect tense. Then all of a sudden, it started to rain. It rained. Perfect tense. The second scenario is emotions. If you're a teacher like me, your emotions seem to be in constant change, constant morphing, and so we use the imperfect tense, the l'imparfait, to describe our emotional state. Let me show you an example. J'étais contente, j'étais triste, j'étais en colère, puis j'étais contente. 
usually with emotions it's quite difficult to actually talk about when that emotion started or when it ended so that's why we use most of the time the imperfect tense for emotions and finally for our third scenario if you've done a repeated action often in the past then you use the imparfait for this is for regular ongoing actions that have occurred in the past where you're not necessarily concentrating on the specific events or occasions that they've occurred. Have a look at an example. Quand j'étais jeune, je jouais au netball. So it doesn't actually matter when this event occurred in the past, it was just something I did in the past, playing netball and stuff. Kind of interesting. So that's all on the function of the imperfect tense in French, l'imparfait. Now it's your turn. Have a think of something you did this morning, maybe an action you completed. Maybe, how was the weather? How did you feel about today, this morning? Jot it down, write it down, have a go, maybe even a playing off against the passé composé and the imparfait and see how you go. You could also write in the comments below if you want me to check it out for you. As always, thanks for watching. If you love this video, don't forget to subscribe or comment with any questions below. Merci beaucoup, à la prochaine.